All right, let's have a look at this problem called coin change. You are given an integer array coins representing coins of different denominations and an integer amount representing a total amount of money. Return the fewest number of coins that you need to make up that amount. If that amount of money cannot be made up by any combination of the coins, return minus one. You may assume that you have an infinite number of each kind of coin. Okay, so the example given to us is we have three kinds of coin. One whose just value is one, other with a value two, and third with a value five. And we have unlimited supply of all of them. And we are asked, hey, how many coins, many number of coins you would need to build 11. So when it says many number, I will try and get use a maximum, the largest coin. So I'll try to use five as many times as possible. So five plus five and then one. Um, that makes sense. So in general, let's also, uh, okay, let's come to whiteboard. Um, and let's look at this example. So we have the coins uh, one, two, and five, and we had the amount as 11, right? So we will, how will, what will, at the end, when we are reaching amount 11, what will happen? So either it will be 11 minus one, right, plus one, or it will be 11 minus two, plus two or it will be 11 minus five plus five right because we then either use coin one coin two or coin five and we'll probably prefer that but okay we can check uh, uh, which one gives the smallest value and uh, so that means this is then the question will be how many minimum coins are required for 10 how many minimum coins are required for 9 how many minimum coins are required for 11 minus 5 which is 6 and we solve for them right and again first out of these three whichever is minimum is what we'll take for 11 right and similarly for nine there are three different uh for, for 10 again same thing right so it's 10 minus 1 which is uh 9 plus uh 1 right and you can see 9 and 9 are repeating already so you see there are some repeating sub problems coming in but okay the other options that we have here is you go 10 minus 2 plus 2 and you have this 10 minus 5 plus 5 right and then similarly for 9 you will further solve it will be 9 minus 1 plus 1 and then 2 minus 1 sorry 9 minus 2 plus 2 and so on right so ultimately this is the top down approach but ultimately if we start from the bottom up we can also do something like hey okay so one two five is there let's talk about each and every coin right so so we have these coins as one two and five and we are solving for amount 11 so for till amount 11 let's try and solve everybody right so let's talk about amount zero well amount zero you don't need any coin what about amount one it is a coin of amount one, so you will need one coin. So this is amount, and this is coins, right? That you will need. Now for two, for two there is a coin directly available. So I'll again two. For three, so for three I will option. Uh, what I will check is again. So three, you can imagine there are three different possibilities, right? Which is three minus one plus one, and then three minus two plus two or three minus five plus five. This is negative, so you regard this. This is one and this is two. So do we have a coin of one or two? We have both, but okay, so either of them, right? So for three, we'll need two coins and it will work. And that what we did was, was we used a number of coins that I, a minimum number of coins that I could reach to two, plus I had one coin, right? Similarly, and okay, now go on for four. So four, the options will be either three plus one or two plus two or well this five one again is negative minus one plus five doesn't work so let's see how many minimum coins I need for three how many minimum coins I need for two so for two I need one coin for three I need two coins right so I will prefer the one which gives me minimum which is two so here I will not take uh, the one that I get from three but I'll take what I get from two and so I'll have two coins right we can also print, we can also say what we use. We used one here, we used a coin of two here, we used two coins, one plus two. 
here we're using two coins because we're taking this and two plus two and we can keep building like that till 11 so for five we already have a coin of five right so that is good so for six again there are three different uh, cases so either six minus one which is five or six minus two which is four or six minus five which is one out of five four and one who is giving me the minimum so five is one uh, one is also one and four is two so obviously either five or one any any of them i can take right so i'll have two coins uh, so it, it is either one plus five or five plus one but that's what right for seven uh, the number of coins that i will need is again depends upon six five and two right so let's look at six five and two six is two five is one so five is one that's great right so i'll just take that guy eight how many coins are needed Again, so eight will depend upon seven, six, and three. Let's look at seven, six, and three. Two, two, two. So all of them are two. So it will require minimum three coins. How many for nine? Well, for nine, it will depend upon, uh, I can either do nine as uh, eight plus one, right? Or I can do it as seven plus two, or I can do it as four plus five so it all depends upon how many minimum coins are needed for eight seven and four which is three two two so minimum is two so total one extra coin i'll take so three ten again it will be either nine or eight or five so five is the smallest one so you'll get just two coins eleven okay so eleven will be either 10 or 9 or 11 minus 5 which is 6 let's look at 10 9 and 6 so this is 10 which is 2 9 is 3 so i don't take it 6 is 2 so any of these two i'll take and 3 <laughs> right so this is what it is so this was 5 plus 5 so this will be 5 plus 5 plus 1 so that's general idea right for each and every amount we are building up and we are checking for each amount we are checking how many coins are there if last if that was the last coin to take, if, if one was the last coin to take, then what is the amount I need? And this for that, that guy, I would have already solved, right? So let's, let's try and build the algorithm uh, based on this approach. So we come to code. Um, what we're saying is that we'll try and build the value, the min coins needed for each and every coin. Uh, let's call this in min. Uh, and let's give it one extra size so that but it's essentially we will return min for the amount that we need, right? And obviously for zero, we can set it to zero. So for min of zero, we'll set to zero. And before that, for everything else, like by default, if it's not possible, then we have to return minus one. <clears throat> so we can fill the array with minus one, except, okay, for zero, we keep it as zero. Now we go through each and every value. So value equals to one, value is less than or equals to amount and value plus plus so for each value uh, we'll set it up uh, so we'll do um, now we are going through each and every coin right so for each coin in coins we have to check firstly whether uh, so what is the remaining now, right? That's what we are checking. So remaining equals to value minus this coin. And now we'll check whether this remaining uh, could we could whether we could solve for this remaining. So if min first of all, this remaining should be a positive value, right? So if remaining is greater than equals to zero, will also work because for zero we have initialized zero means essentially it's the same that the coin is already present, and in which case that's fine because we have initialized uh, min of zero to zero. So this and uh, you do this the number of coins to reach this remaining shouldn't be minus one right that means you couldn't there is no way to reach this remaining coins so then uh, it won't lead to uh, any solution so in that case i have what's my candidate now so this is one candidate which is i take one plus min remaining right this is one of my candidates now if uh,
so maybe we just do if our min of uh, this val if it is still not set that then this is a candidate or if this min of val is actually greater than this candidate that means this candidate is better to take right so we do min of val equals to this candidate and at the end of it we return min of amount so that's our logic let's run and see if it works okay we get a wrong answer for, for the first case which is t11 uh, one so let's see what we did wrong uh, so we're saying initialize everything to minus one go till the amount go through each and every coin see the remaining ones remaining has to be greater than or equal to zero and not equals to minus one right and uh, you can reach there then you use this okay run all three test cases passes let's submit and it works all right 